these are Bomba socks. I have these because my son and I like to give these back and forth as gifts. If you look on the inside cuff, it says, be better. And what happens when we buy these socks for each other, for every pair, Bombas generates a pair of these. These are donation socks. These are meant to be given to the poor, to the needy, to the homeless. Um, they are given free by Bombas to its giving partners. And the giving partners then distribute these socks wherever they are needed. If you can see in the top corner of the label, it says not for resale. It says that on every pack. These socks come in four, five sizes, extra small, small, medium, large, extra large, and that's the only thing that you'll ever see on these socks is a size in the other corner. They also say, be better on the inside cuff. And the point of the be better is Bomba's message to people who wear their socks to be a better person. These socks only come in quarter socks and calf socks. They are primarily black. Sometimes they have color on them, like yellow and the turquoise and the orange. A lot of times you'll see them and they have gray, like here's on the toe. The honeycomb's kind of a whitish gray. And there's gray again for the bee. Um, the reason why I have these socks is because my husband and myself, along with the support of our church and our outreach team, we have been giving partners with Bomba Socks for the last three years. And we deliver these socks in person to shelters, to uh, you know, women's domestic violence shelters, to senior citizens in the community that are in need. Uh, we deliver them to um, children that go without. We help them get ready for back to school and socks are one thing that they receive. The point is, is that these socks are given by Bombas for free to their giving partners because other people have bought Bombas, which has, have helped to create these giving socks for this program. So they are given for free and they are donated for free. So my question is, why are there people selling these socks on the internet for money. I, I, I don't know. I found out about this a few days ago. It really made me mad. I probably generated the comment that I left for people um, before I had a chance to think about it and maybe be a bit more diplomatic, but I was angry. Um, I pointed out these are donation socks for the poor. Um, I did some shaming. Nothing that I said was not true. What I received back was very telling. Um, I received a lot of backlash, as I guess I, that I knew that I would. Um, but some of the comments were just unbelievable. Now there is a problem, apparently, uh, in the thrift stores. A lot of people told me angrily that they bought their socks from a thrift store, therefore they own them, they can do whatever they please. Well, the thrift store didn't have the right to sell the socks to begin with. When we sign up to be partners every year, it's not just, hey, we need socks, okay, thank you very much. We have to fill out a pretty lengthy form talking about our organization and our mission and what we hope to achieve, um, our successes, 
our struggles, things like that. It's a personal relationship. And we also have to sign off at the end saying that we will not resell these socks, nor will we provide them to um, anybody whose intention is to resell the socks. Well, thrift stores, that's, that's their intention. And while the backing behind it might be to help support a cause, it's only a percentage. It's not the same as, as handing somebody a pair of socks. Um, not that they don't do good work. I'm not discrediting thrift stores. But when you get involved in a mission where you agree not to sell socks, you agree not to sell socks. It's just, it's, it's just that simple. So a lot of people blame the thrift stores. Well, I bought it from a thrift store. Um, I supported a great cause. Uh, it supported, you know, drug abuse and alcohol abuse, and it supported homelessness. And I gave them my monies for their cause. And now I have these socks and I can do what I want. But if you're coming home and you're turning around and trying to sell those socks for profit, then the only one that you're helping out really is yourself. You know, it, it kind of defeats the purpose. Um, you know, I had somebody say, hey, if you buy my socks, I'll pay it forward. Okay, no. <laughs> Take your socks down and go, go donate them. Um, which was basically my message, you know, do the right thing. There is a gentleman on the websites now that claims he has, at least the last posting, that he had 2,000 pairs of these socks that he was selling wholesale. Okay, so when the giving partners receive their socks, we receive them in boxes of 250. So he basically received eight boxes of socks, which he now is turning around and selling. One individual had asked him, hey, where are my socks? I ordered over a month ago, I haven't received my socks. Well, he was sold out. He had sold hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, and well, now he was sold out. And so given the fact that we just filled out reorder forms a few days ago, my thinking is he's waiting for his next shipment. I don't know. That's just the feeling I got. There's another individual that opened up his site back in August. His site has the audacity to use sock in its name, and the only listing he carries are for Bombas donation socks. Uh, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of these socks he has sold. I mean, these are instances of people where it's pretty evident that they have been applying for socks or they have a very close connection to somebody who does apply for socks because you just don't walk into a thrift store and buy 2,000 pairs of socks. Additionally, there are photos that I have seen on people's listings like this this is what the socks look like when you get them in a box of 250. This is a pack of 25. And so you would get 10 of these in one of those boxes. He didn't even bother to take them out of the plastic. Most people, you can see in their listing, plain as day. Oh, not for resale, look, there it is, plain as day. Some people do cross it off. Some people have cut it out which again, you're just letting people know that you're aware that what you're doing really isn't cool. This is what the back looks like because some people have also just posted pictures of the back because well, again, you know that what you're doing just really isn't cool. Um, I have had people say to me, I give cash to charity all the time. They need cash more than socks. This person isn't the only one that made that comment. And I wanna know why it is their right to determine what somebody else's mission should look like. And if they're selling these socks because these homeless don't really need the socks, they need the money, are you giving them the money from the sale of the socks? I didn't get to ask that question. I was told to go after Bombas. Shame on them for giving these socks to a thrift store where they could be sold. I don't quite think it worked that way either. I was told my family all wear Bombas. They, all the packages, they all say, not, not for resale. Well, um, no, they don't. Only the donation socks say not for resale. 
And while the donation socks are not exactly like the socks that you buy on the website, they are made a little bit differently for the needs of the homeless. For instance, they use the dark colors because the homeless typically don't have access to be able to wash their socks very often. So they make them black and then nobody has to walk around in dingy socks. There was another individual that actually used the phrase be better in their listing title, but they were selling donation socks. Um, you know, these people are, are, are selling them cheap and fast, pennies on the dollar, which undermines, again, the quality behind Bombas, the mission behind Bombas. You know, I, I won't lie, Bombas, they're not a cheap sock, but you get what you pay for. You know, you get quality, they stand behind their product, and you're supporting a cause. It, it, just, it just is what it is. And so people are so delighted. Oh, wow, I got such a great deal. Thank you so much. But are they looking in the corner? And are they looking in the corner to that tag that says not for resale? And are they just shrugging their shoulders and say, huh, oh, well, I got a good deal. I have had somebody say to me, you're probably a bum white no life who sits in the chair, sweating her ass off, acting like internet security. I've had somebody tell me I'm clearly a no life Karen ass person hating on someone else actually doing something with their time. I've had somebody tell me, well, I am poor. Okay, a few people tell me I am poor. So there, take it, whatever. This is a good one. This seller felt privileged to write a story on my listing saying I'm s selling a donation. Who the fuck is this bozo? He don't know I did 20 years upstate and my mind isn't right. Sometimes in life, you fuck with the wrong person and get what's coming to you. Okay, mind you again, this is over getting called out on selling donation socks for the poor. I have had religion preach to me to seek salvation from Jesus before it's too late. I've had people say, hey, if it was wrong, then the website would tell me. I have had people say, I purchased my socks and I sell them on different sites. No one shows concern. Or, we don't donate money to many charitable organizations. People need money more than socks. Well, I mentioned that one. I've had people say, hey, I'm an executive and I'm a vice president of a charitable organization that serves underprivileged children. Okay, again, I'm sorry, it doesn't make it right for you to sell the socks. I, I, I just don't understand it. A purchase from thrift store associated with the homeless shelter, supporting the shelter with my money. Now these are mine to do with what I please. Two wrongs making a right once again. All right, so I don't want to dismiss the good giving that goes on for Bomba stocks. I don't want to imply that Bomba's mission is dead in the water because of what's been going on. Today, Bomba's has donated more than 45 million pairs of socks, 45 million. There are 3,000 giving partners across the US. I found approximately 500 listings on three different sites and many listed on all three sites and many had more than one listing. So maybe 200 were individual listers and of those 200, maybe 10 were standouts that were likely signed up as giving partners. The rest blamed it on thrift stores, which the thrift stores could also be identified as giving partners. The problem is, is that these, you know, the people that buy them from thrift stores, it just goes on and on and on and on and on. People just buy and buy and buy and think that it's okay to keep reselling. And now our group is growing and getting bigger and making it, making it look really bad. You know, I'm surprised these websites don't care a little bit more about the image that they're projecting, that the majority of their Bomba sock listings are people selling the donated socks that say, let's say it all together now, not for resale. So please, don't stop supporting this mission. They are on to doing even more fabulous things than when they started. They have started to make underwear this year, which is so much needed in the, in the women's domestic violence shelters. 
If you think about it, how many women who are fleeing a violent situation stop to pack a bag before they go? And underwear just really isn't something us ladies can reuse more than once, maybe twice, turn them inside out, who knows? Anyway, you get my drift. So they're making underwear. Those are going to be coming available. They're doing t-shirts. They're doing sweatpants. They are doing their part to make a difference. Are they a business? Yes. Are they making money? Yes. Are they going above and beyond what most do? Absolutely yes. So don't quit being a supporter just because of this crap that's going on, but protect your donation and get the word out about these listings. And if you're, if you're hearing this and you've, if you've bought some of these listings and you're like, wow, I really didn't know what I had, donate them. It's not too late. It's not too late to put them out there. You know, there's nothing better than putting a pair of clean, dry socks into the hand of a homeless man down on his luck and saying, hey, bud, you know, I hope your day gets better. You know, we're all in this together. I appreciate all of you. Please, everybody, stay safe, stay well, and thanks for listening.